Would you like to see a real cataract surgery that I performed? Hang on. If you are sensitive to surgical scenes or get nauseated watching things like that, I suggest you don't watch this because I'm going to talk very in detail and I'm going to show in detail about the specific steps in cataract surgery. Here we go. So this is basically a very dense cataract that has been pre-treated with a laser. You see here that I'm performing the side ports and injecting some anesthetic into the eye to numb the eye. Then we inject a material called viscoelastic material that keeps the eye formed and open. And now uh, we're doing the uh, main entry wound into the eye. And since uh, that uh, opening to the capsule has perfectly performed with the laser, I just remove it. I don't need to form it manually. And here uh, I'm injecting some fluid to separate the uh, cataract uh, from its capsule. And I make sure that it's mobile and I remove some of the bubbles. The laser has pre-cut the lens into tiny little cubes but it's a very dense cataract, so I still need to use uh, some ultrasound energy to help me clear it. And I'm using another instrument to help me break this lens into pieces. And here the lens breaks into halves, and then I break it into quarters. a quarter and I turn it around and the laser really helps uh, with forming a perfect uh, opening to the capsule also it helps in uh, breaking down the lens into a more digestible pieces so we use less ultrasound energy and cause less damage to the intraocular tissues while doing that you can see how nice and easily the lens is removed uh, this is a pretty dense lens and now you can see that circular opening you can see how perfect that is just need to clean a little bit of what's called cortical material which are remnants of the cataract that can stick to the capsule you want to remove them as much as possible and i'm again injecting the same viscoelastic material to form the eye again in preparation for injection of the lens and here the lens comes into the eye this is a multifocal lens that it's also toric. What that means is that uh, once the lens opens, I want those uh, three dots on the side of the lens to be aligned uh, with the two marks that I have made previously with the laser machine. This ensures that the astigmatism is fully corrected in the correct axis. Another thing that we need to make sure, since it's a multifocal lens, is that the center circle, the very center of the lens, uh, coincides with the visual axis. And for that purpose, I have the patient focus on uh, the two lights, look straight at the two lights. And once the patient looks at those two lights, I adjust the lens manually to make sure that it is perfectly centered with the visual axis. And here we have a perfect result. The patient was very happy 2020 would for near and distance after the surgery.